Hello everybody and welcome once when once again to Galactic Science 2. Right, between episodes I've been very busy and I shall show you what I've been doing. When I say I've been very busy, I've been very busy. You can tell how busy I've been because of the number of ender pearls which have been created. So I've got nine ender pearls. And I've also got this enchanted book, Fortune One. So let's take this enchanted book, Fortune One, uh, which I think we prepared at the end of the last episode, and let's just um what do we want to do? We want to check the quest, don't we? We want to go back to I think it's improvements. And we've got this Fortune One, and let's detect this now. So we've got a second book, we can claim that. Now with this Fortune One, what I believe we do, so we'll put it together on this like this, and it'll probably need two I reckon we'll need two or maybe three XP. So let me just get rid of this from my hand here. Take three just in case it's more. And we'll put those two books into here like that. Oh, it is more four. Okay. That's a bit of a shame. I'm guessing it right and it got it wrong. Right, okay, four. Fortune has actually got, we've only got three levels of fortune compared to uh, five levels of uh, efficiency. So, fortune two book. Now, what we do with this is we take it and we put it into a sieve. Like this. There's a space here for a book, I think, is where it goes into. What did that do? Did that just take the fortune book into here and make it fortune? Ah, interesting. So, let's go and find some stuff. Right. Now I've been very busy as I said and I've been digging out below here and we've got plenty of moon rock. How many have we got in here? 3,200. Let's just take a stack of these out of here and go upstairs again. Probably should have done the comparison, shouldn't I? Now we're comparing a stack before and a stack after. So if we now put this into here, you see it's getting, it's generating stuff all the time. Ah, uh, oh. To actually put the fortune book straight through. I thought the fortune book was for this. So maybe it's not. Hmm. That's strange. Put it in that slot and it goes. Oh, it's staying in. Ah, yes. That was very strange. Right, all I'll do is I'll take it out, take these out, and go and get two stacks. Let's go and get two stacks of moon rock. This should have been, this should be finished. Let's get rid of all of the stuff in here. I'll have to get rid of all of us. We otherwise can't do a sensible comparison. So we can put that in there like that. And what are we left with some iron here? Let's put the iron in this cache here, which is looking pretty full actually. That's still emptying stuff out of there. Yeah. And that is needs speeding up definitely. So what else we got in here? These right. So that's now empty. Let's put one stack of this into there like that and empty our stuff out of here. So that and that one slag, and the rest we can put away. In fact, I think the cache is actually now full because that didn't go into there. So if we need to get rid of it. It's indeed full. Let me get rid of the broken iron into here. I'll get rid of these as well. These are actually from the previous time when this when I was, was so full I couldn't put any more stuff into it. Right, that should be everything. Right, okay, I think we could take everything out of it. So if control space click, that'll show us what we have. And if we put this now, if we put this book into here now, 
and Tusk Day doing that, and we do this again. No, it doesn't just come out. That's weird, that. Don't get me. Don't understand that. I'll put it in anyway. Now it's staying there. So I think we always end up with 60, um, 64 mini calls. We just have to wait for this to finish. Right, won't be much longer now. Let's have a look what we've got in difference. We've definitely got more. Where did that come from? I think things things are behaving a little bit strange, but never mind. So we've got four copper compared to that. We've got three broken nickel, which is three. We've got two broken silver, and here we've got one broken silver. Aluminium, we've got seven com ten compared to seven. Broken platinum, we've got four compared to five. We sure only expect it to be more at the top, aren't we? So that's more, that's more. That's actually less by one. That's more, definitely. That's definitely more. That one's also more. Actually, that one's less. No, that's more, yes, of course it is. And gold is four compared to three, yes, that's definitely the case. Slag's the same. Broken tin ore is four here and three there, so that's slightly less. Yep, that's the same. Iron is, well, almost ten more. And lead is double. No diamonds. So it does look to me as though this is actually. Um, working quite well. Does that not shift into this? Should do. Silver and silver. Okay, silver's full. We can get rid of this actually, we can get rid of some make a put some cop uh, put some charcoal up there. Mini coals I mean. So I think that was a reasonably good that that's what that's for anyway as far as I can understand. And it does seem to be correct. I'm not sure where this book came from. Hopefully it's not broken. So. Let's put it to this. Everything except for the broken iron ore. Right. We'll wait for this to process through this later on. In fact, we, if we sort this now and then come along here and bring these out, we can then put these into here knowing that we've got these all go last, which is what I really want to achieve. Right, next thing. Let's have a look downstairs what I've been doing. This I've fixed. This is, I was using the wrong conduit. It needs to be at least energy conduit from Ender IO, and I haven't tried the thermal dynamics, but the galactic science wires don't work, as you can see here. These ones did not work on there. I thought that's run out. So we'll look at how we're doing there? Well, we've got uh, two and a half stacks of that and ran out of power, which means this this obsidian here will be filling up slowly because it's going in here into, as opposed to here, which will of course be full, like that. So underneath here, which we shall go and have a look at now, you'll see I've removed some of these um, blocks. Oh, it's night time. I probably should have a snooze. Let's go and have a quick sleep. There's also something strange, I didn't see the um, Torches, I put torches down one of these corners here. This one, oh yeah, there we are. Well, I almost got them in the right place, didn't I? Look at that one. Let's move it. It'll drive me crazy being there. And here below here, I've got another, I move one of those elevator blocks to here, and I put in a quarry below this. Well, 
I've set it ready to go and I'm not sure whether I want to do it or whether I simply want to put in here these um, blocks here like this because what this is here is it's actually done I've done it six high so the quarry will go up one underneath here so we can basically cover up these and these two blocks here are really to access those so we can actually put it in without it dropping down it's a bit strange and underneath here there was lots of there's lots of tunnels and things and I filled those in underneath here I'll tell you what we'll do I'll go and get a cache because what I want to do next I'll remove this block here I don't want that in the way anymore it's no use anymore this is actually in 5x5 five five, I think so if I shift right shift left click this it does a single block at a time oops what's happened there what's the oops well, I must have ended up in the, in the wall somehow that was a bit deadly how on the earth I did that I don't know let's put these back hmm right I do this saturation does work wonderfully I want to go down and get those here let's put that away and simply pick this up with the crescent hammer if right click it'll pick it up with you no problem at all and there it is I have to be a bit careful because it, it will may get picked up by these vacuum hoppers here no I can't go down there can I this side I'll oh, probably put another torch on this corner here that'd be a good idea I don't know which corner to go for it took me I suppose it was probably about most of the afternoon yesterday four to six hours to dig out this thing this block here so what we're going to do now is here is the um, the turret okay and that so now if I put down something anywhere from basically here so where are we now here so we're just about underneath the turret yeah so if I take some oh let's put it down my moon rock first this, this cache first of all take a stack of that so if I put any cut this down now queue it'll get picked up and it'll get through pulled into one of these two depending exactly where I am so that's working so I've got to go along nine from this now so one two three four five six seven nine so that's there so let's just put a block down here like that and see if that I'm in the right place so if I go down and press Q there that gets picked up and here too oh yes that's not gonna work is it try to see what Oops, my, turn, turn off my magnet. Well, that's good. It's not got picked up. So that's at least in the right place here. And then this one. That's also not getting picked up. That's also what I was hoping for. And this one here should get picked up good. So what I'm going to do now is to build a wall. All the way around this. Like this. I think we can reach the ceiling. Yeah, we can here. Okay, so that's one side. And then I've got to go in this direction, nine as well. So let's count that as again. So that's one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine. Should be here. Let's just try it. No, that should be this way, shouldn't it? So let's see which one's correct. I reckon this one's the correct one. Press Q. Yeah, that's going off. Ah, no, that's not on. Oops. Just threw my magnet away. No, it wasn't what I intended to do at all. Where's this thing here? All right, it's not landing on that, that one. And it's not landing here. Right, I was wrong. So it is actually here is what we need. 
So you can build up another wall here. Like that. And then we can come to the corners with these two. So let's just take my super builders ones here and start doing this. So all you need to do with this is like this. And you can keep coming in one direction. And of course I'll need to get some more moon rock. Yep, like that. When it runs out, you just get the odd block. So let's get, um, I don't know, about 10 stacks or so. I don't want this one, don't I? So I'm just building this out until we get to the corner here, like that. So now we have this wall and that side, at least it's done in that direction. So we've got to go all the way back now, quite a long way. And of course the builders one will do nine blocks high, so that's fine. So we're about lined up with this one now. So let's have a look. I think it's the other side of my. Oops, I can't use the builds one for doing Let's just have a look. So I've got some. I want to go and collect my. My magnet out of this one. Yep. Right, good. So we need to do the same thing again to find out roughly where the nine blocks are from here outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's about there. Let's just jump up and put that on there. See if that's the, the right place. Do it the other way around this time. So this should be outside the range, which it is. And this one should be inside the range, which is great. I did actually count that correctly this time. That's a pleasant change, didn't it? Right. Now we can build it towards this place over here. It doesn't take too long to do this. I think I've actually reached the corner now. Yeah, good. So we've got to go out nine blocks in this direction as well, of course. So let's do that as well. I think, yes, that's, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So I've got, if I can still count, which may or may not be the case, if I put a block down here, it gets picked up, put it down here. Maybe that's me in the wrong place. Right, that doesn't get picked up. And that one does. So actually, I've got it one block out, haven't I? Okay, good. Not a problem. Let's take the RR pickaxe and go count down three here. That'll do fine. That's picked up all of those. So this should be the place now. Let's double check it. Q. Q. Fantastic. Right. So all I've got to do now is fill this in from here. Ooh. That was a big jump. And then build backwards. Now, what's, there's lots of tricks with the builder's wand, which you don't actually realise, but well, I don't. I 
And that, if you press shift on it, it actually just does one one plane in the horizontal direction. As, I'm not sure if control does the same thing. Let's have a look. That's the shift, does it in that direction. And control does it in the vertical direction. So if you hold control and shift, you're only going to get it in the vertical direction, which is probably a pretty good idea, actually. Get rid of the torch, the torch is in the way. Of course, there's a risk then of mob spawning. Turns, I can turn this back on again now. A bit like that bit of lag. Don't see that often. So all we're going to do basically is to create this dark room. Well, it will be dark when I've removed all the torches, of course. Like that. Where mobs can spawn. Underneath here there are mobs, but... Uh, I think I've lit up all the passageways. Well, I'm hoping I've lit up all the passageways, shall we say. Come from this way now. Yep. So now I've got to find I've got to get myself a way out of here, so I'll we'll just do that. What I probably should do is to um Yeah, we'll work this way. Let's pick up this and just start removing these torches. I can press um, F4 and that'll show you the light levels. But they should all go down to around about zero. So as long as it's darker than eight, it's no problem. And as you can see from here, actually, the, the torches are as a tor under directly underneath the torch, there's a light level of 12. So, that, as I said before, these torches aren't as powerful as ordinary Minecraft torches. Or in this or in this game, we've got um, sulfur torches too. Let's use that. To say, yeah, there's a little bit of light here. I think I'm not sure where that light comes from. It might be. Um, might be passing through I'm not sure it's passing through or it's just the there we go so we come out here and then we just close this up like that and then we can go upstairs again and we should after a short period of time we should get mob spawning in there I'll turn off F4 again that time I didn't get hit by the by the wall. So so far so good. Let's have a look. So that's we've done that one. We've we've done that. So we've claimed that. So the next one, you see, this is where the the light, uh, the laser comes in. It's this one here, where we have to build an enchant mover, a diamond pickaxe, and an anvil. Well, we've got an anvil already. I assume that's going to work. Let's make a diamond pickaxe. That's not a big deal. Yes, that was for doing the books. I jumped the gun a bit because I was a bit impatient. But I hope you don't mind about that. So we need some diamonds. Which we should have plenty of. I don't see any. There's some sticks. Let's have a look. No sticks. Let's have some wood. One piece of wood will do fine. Four sticks. Diamond pickaxe. Oh, 68. Look at that.
So we need an enchant mover. This thing. So, all right, we need to build some more anvils. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem to do. So let's get on with this. So we need 64 obsidian, 32 diamonds. Okay, that's half a stack. We oh, didn't do that right. Try that again, right click it. 32 diamonds, 64 obsidian. Let's go and get the obsidian that's downstairs now. Oh, try that again. Shift click, of course. It's always a bit awkward when things change every time you do them. So that's that one. What else do we need? Two anvils, that should be no problem. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just do some iron like that. Like that, and then I'm keeping the one we've got here, I don't think it makes any difference. Put that away. So two anvils, diamonds, obsidian. Ender pearl. Forty-eight redstone and eight gold. Redstone, eight gold. Oh, well, that we're running out of gold, but of course we're not. Take a stack of that, split it into four. Put sixteen back. That's fine. What else do we want? In, in fact, I just heard it going shooting then, actually. And I think that's everything. Oh, eight iron too, as well. Right, let's go put that into the Workbench Plus and see if we've got everything we needed. Soon then it highlights it as we do that. As I can hear this going very fast. If you come down here. Pick up my cash, moon rock. So it's already got a few items in there. Hopefully it won't run out of power <laughs> thinking about it. And I got those and that one. So it's it's picked up already a reasonable amount of stuff for what five minutes and there it goes again I'll probably... so next job where are we oh yes this thing aren't they what i could do is to try replacing the sample but i won't so we're right we click this then and we make the enchant mover actually if i just do before i do that let me just do detect on this quest as well and the reason I'm doing the detect is just in case it needs a... It's enough to do this. Yep, exactly. I just want to make sure that it wasn't going to... Because this is slightly damaged. It'll be slightly damaged now because it's. I've used it twice to, to do the books. So I don't want to do that. Lose that one. I have to make another, yet another anvil. I think, I think I've made enough already. Put the wood up there. What, of course, I can do for the time being is to remove this and put a cache in its place because we've got so much moon rock. I'm going to do that. My obsidian pick. And we'll just put this cache in its place here like that and that should be going down and this just this chest will fill up fairly quickly it's just this book business is very strange what is going on with that book you know I think that's been lost now looks a bit buggy never mind if it was working it would be nice and then we've got our enchant mover so Let's take this quest now and claim the, the reward. Done. I think that's the way we do it. Now the laser we've already got, so let's go and do this one as well. See, I've got 10 XP from this as well. Let's get rid of that 10 XP. 
and of course the XP so you can move the stuff to do the books isn't it now the power to power we've got at the moment let's have a look at that. 440 now I'm going to remove this one here and now I'm going to put this on the enchant mover I don't think it needs power but I'm just not 100% sure where should we do this let's do it here I want to go and get that enchanted book efficiency 2 so let's put the efficiency 2 book in here like that I probably have to put the laser quarry plus in there first of all and then the enchanted two efficiency two after can't shift it. Oh. Maybe it does need power. I'm doing something wrong, but don't ask me what. Let's just put it down here. No, it doesn't need power. So what you're supposed to be able to do is to put a book into it, efficiency too. And it's supposed to move this enchant onto this book. Aha, uh -huh. I'm doing it wrong. I think I have to, that's what the anvil's for. So basically what we do is we enchant the pickaxe like this and then move this enchant onto the other machine. So that one and that one. Now I've got efficiency and it should move it across. So now I take this out, this pickaxe should be efficiency one. This is efficiency one. That's strange. Try that again. Oh, right, you have to click it twice. So this is now an efficiency two laser plus. Wow. So now when I put this up here like this, let's go and have a look at how much power this is now getting. 5,240. So basically that's gone up from 200 to 5,000. If I was just using the um, the other pick, if I was using the other one, level one, I think that gives you 1,000 or something like that. I probably should have tested it, shouldn't I? So that increases the amount of power going up here, and it also increases the rate. It's generating all of the, all of the stuff in here much faster. So that's how we speed it all up. Well, that was hard work, wasn't it? So what I'm going to do is bring this back again put it in the right place where I want it to be. In fact, I'm going to put it next to the uh, anvil, I think. No, it'd probably be a bad place that one. So let's move, move this and put it there. So that is today's achievement. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know some of you already know this trick, what I've shown today, but I'm sure not everybody does. So until next time, bye for now.